Hey, Rick. Hey, Corbin. You're ugly. <laughs> you like the movie. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions You Needs. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Instagram and Twitter. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Follow us on the notification squad. Bang! Look at what he did. And thank you for on Patreon. Follow us on your Twitter account. Did I say that? And yes. Uh, I don't remember. We've gotten... I have no clue. All I know is I'm excited. All the days are mixed together. I'm high tech again. Woot woot. Yeah, we we, roof. we we upgraded uh, Rick's audio. Thank goodness. Um, and and hey and hey everybody, out there in stupid land, if you're <laughs> drinking chai, I'm with you. I've I've coffee, but uh, I've made chai before. Mm. Anyways, but love today it. is uh, I think. I mean, we have a lot of favorites of stuff we do here, but we love doing movie reviews. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it's probably. I mean, we like movies and we like talking about them. We like watching them. <laughs> and so, this is, yeah, this is for those this, of you who don't know, which most of you do. This is just what Corbin and I have done for years. <laughs> yeah, we just always just talked <laughs> about our opinions of movies. So sit around, talk about our opinions of movies, and but, tell each other how stupid the other person is. Yeah, but uh, today we uh, reviewed uh, Anya Kashyap's Ugly. Uh, highly, highly recommended. Uh, I've told you how many times I want to get into Anya Kashyap uh, more because everything we've seen of his has been incredible and amazing. Yep. Uh, he's a really talented writer, director, everything like that. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we, we started with Ugly based on everybody's recommendations. Uh, I want to read the synopsis of Ugly real quick, please, Rick. Yes, let me get to, I oh, should have gotten straight to it. No, there it is, I got it. Okay. Uh, the case of a missing girl takes us through a journey of human greed and brushes upon the egos and repressed emotions of the characters. That's pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty that's a pretty good synopsis. Uh, it was uh, directed by Anirudh Kashyap. The writers, he was the writer, but there was a couple other writers in, writers in there as well. Uh, and starring, uh, it's just the definition of almost like a um, a, uh, a, a true, ensemble, but a true ensemble did have a few people that we knew from other films um, that we'll get into. Um, but uh, once again, hundred percent spoiler review. Go watch this film. Yeah, if, basically. If you haven't seen it, it's on your Kashi. Go, go watch his film. <laughs> yeah, guys. We always are going to start, for those of you new to Stupid World uh, and Stupid Nation, we will pretty much always give you a spoiler unless the film is a brand new film in theaters at the time. Yeah. And then we'll do it twofold. We'll do a, a non-spoiler segment and then the second half will be spoiler. But for a film that's been out, which this is since 2013, Right at the outset, we'll let you know if this should be watched or not if you haven't seen it. So just, go watch this we and prefer, then come back. We prefer talking spoilers. So We do. Uh, initial thoughts, Rick. Well, obviously, Corbin and I won't tell you to go watch something if we didn't like it. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you, you know, certain amount of... You know Mama loved this film. <laughs> you, have a certain, you have a certain amount of time on Earth, and it doesn't need to be spent watching crap movies. So, uh, And I can tell you right now... Uh, based on just everything, how, the, how everything about this film, but especially how it ended. I was talking to Andrani about it just before we started filming. I said, Corbin's going to love this movie. Oh, I loved this film. I, yeah, so I, I, I go ahead, go wax, uh, go, let, let mama talk about her baby I and be proud. I love, well, there's not been one thing on your Kasia that of his that we've seen that I have not loved because of how he. I don't know if he's a writer first, but it wouldn't surprise me if he's a writer turned director. Uh, yeah, because that his stuff is always so well written and unique, and very yeah. very layered. And this yeah. a very fitting name for this uh, movie, ugly. It just <laughs> man is everything yeah. in it and everyone in it the epitome everyone of in it. ugly. <laughs> exactly, and I think he did. He did a great job. Let's talk about just that, the thematic element of the fact yeah. that this picture depicts the fact that all of us have something ugly about us. Oh, and, oh. and does a brilliant job of depicting it without um, even our main character, who's the seeming antagonist in it. The, yeah. You know, even he we're given some snapshots into his personality that we're not allowed based on the, the, 
greatness of the writing and the greatness of the directing. You're yeah. not allowed to put him into a box of stereotypical antagonists. It's very Shakespearean in that these are layered very people. Very Shakespearean, yeah. Very Shakespearean, very layered. They're not hollow Easter egg, I mean, Easter chocolate money characters. These are flesh and blood my people. Fa- my favorite. Um, they, the, the way he, he, he writes it, and we'll, we'll talk about it and cash up first and then we'll get into the acting. Um, he 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 writes one. I'm I'm actually shocked he's not more popular here in America. Like you know how well, there's like Anyan, uh, Alejandro Anyaritu, and then there's Guillermo del Toro, and then there's uh, yeah. now uh, the Parasite director. And there's all these famous directors from other places that are so so talented, and they got more yeah. ta- they got more recognition now yeah. in America. I'm surprised at the fact that he is not. I- I because totally agree with you. Every fact, single I, thing he writes and directs is very palatable and very – I mean not saying it's Western, but it's very like – like anybody could sit down and watch this film just and just be like, whoa, what is going on? <laughs> and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I've said this before about I have felt if anyone from Indian cinema has the best shot at garnering an Oscar – it would be Priyanka because I know she's got the skill, but she's also got the resume now in America. They know who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when it comes to directing, of all the directors we've seen, the person who has the skill level and makes cinema that is palatable to an American audience based on what we're used to seeing from this kind of genre, mm-hmm. I would say. Uh, he would be my leading candidate for a yeah. director that I think if he was given the right project with the right people, he could break through in the same way that Inuritu did representing Mexico. Mm-hmm. I think he could become the first director from India that Hollywood looks at and is like awaiting his next film with bated breath. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. I totally One hundred percent. Him, him, Vishal would be right after that. Uh, he is exactly. I, that's when I hesitated. Yeah. It's, I hesitated a moment. It's Vishal is right there. Yeah. They they're they're both make right, neck really, and neck. They're really both great, right there. Gritty films. But I loved the because you start with this film and you <laughs> you follow this main one. It starts with uh, uh, the woman almost committing suicide. <laughs> Which, yeah, let's just can we talk can we talk about I, in fact hold on I got to grab I took some notes down okay so I got to I got to write down the, my first thoughts when I was watching this at the very beginning and I wrote something about the I wrote something hold on let me sit down here and get back into the picture um did I screw the picture up or am I okay now you're fine okay very first frame very first frame of the film with that uh, she's just it is so disconcerting like it's like a horror film yeah and it shows you i wrote down the very first frame proves film is a director's medium mm-hmm. he immediately grabs you by the neck and says i've got you for the next two and a half hours and you won't go anywhere that i don't tell you to go mm-hmm. uh and i was i was literally gripped from first frame to final frame. Oh, uh, me too. Uh, and yeah. we'll get. We can get I, I think actually, even though I love the acting, we'll get into more of that. Um, I think he was the star of this film. One hundred percent. Like, like, uh, because like, this is such an ensemble cast. There's not wasn't like one performance that stood out in terms of like uh, this was the he's the he drove this film. They all did amazing jobs. So it was, it was more like that. But I feel like from the shots to the writing to the directing, Anurad Kashyap in this film was the star of this entire thing. I absolutely agree. And I want to uh, – I had this thought while we were watching it. And I mean this as both a compliment, but it, it also can be a minimization. Mm-hmm. Okay? He's a blend of Scorsese and Stanley Kubrick. Oh, okay. Interesting but has his own yeah he has his own originality in the same way i'm not comparing his style to um tarantino i'm saying when you watch a tarantino film you know you're watching a tarantino film based on the banter the way he's using the music the way he's using his shots tarantino puts his thumbprint on it as does scorsese um and it's different than say 
a Sanjay Leela Banzali film that has the aesthetic you expect. Yeah. I'm talking I'm talking about there's a there's a greasy thumbprint to yeah. the, the, the the thing that has their DNA oozing in it. Yeah. And he's he's got that quality. A hundred percent. And and it's um it's different. He's very, very original. That's what I mean. I don't want to minimize him by saying it's just something as simple as a Scorsese Kubrick blend. Yeah. It starts there, and then you add all of the other elements that are his brilliance. So we can talk about some of the acting right now. Uh, starting absolutely. With, starting with the uh, where is he? Uh, what's his? Where is Ronit Roy, who plays Bose? Uh, the main, the the main police officer, right? Yeah, yeah. He plays Bose. The dad from Udan, right? The dad from Udan, right when he came just on, as good in this. Right when he came on the screen, I'm like, oh, it's him! And I got excited because, you know, we, we hated his character, but we loved the actor. Uh, yes. Which it mar- is a mark of a great actor, like the, the actress who plays uh, Umbridge in Harry Potter. Correct. I, I despise that character, and I can hardly watch it because I hate her so much. But that yes. is because the actress plays her so well. Uh, and they, this, this actor Absolutely. is just as good in this one, um, and he he plays a very menacing um, asshole of a father, I guess you would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like um, in in the same way, like uh, like you you mentioned Umbridge. I feel the same way. Like one of the one of the best performances of somebody ever that uh, made me hate their guts was Jack Gleason playing Joffrey in in Game of Thrones. Yeah. But this this is the uh, what I think is so great about uh Anirag Kashyap as, as well as um the these are very similar roles. So the acting of of Ronit Roy he didn't just it, this isn't just a carbon copy of that other no, no, no. character. That's not what I was yeah, no. That that no and I didn't say you were. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just they're very, very similar, but that this guy, there was always lurking underneath him. Something going on behind. You could... Something else going on that you felt. I wonder how much of his meanness is this facade he's put on because he feels he has to to protect himself and to, and to, and to defend himself against the deep, deep hurts that have mm. caused him to behave. Because even like, ugh, can we just talk for a minute about that last real moment he has with his wife where he finds out she got 1.5 million more, right? And then Anurag shoots that. He walks and follows her back into the room and Anurag is literally sitting on his shoulder, just tight on her, just like he's doing to her, will not let her escape from frame. And when she gives the answer, part of me was like expecting him to slap her. Yeah. But again, Anurag left it more real and complex than that. Yep. And her words seem to hit home. Mm-hmm. Which is that's the Shakespearean side of it. It's 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 so believably she's, real. She's also a terrible shot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you you go. How ru- did you miss him at point blank <laughs> range? <laughs> what? But like you you were right up on him and you just hit him in the shoulder. <laughs> what? But you know what? That's that's actually that's actually statistically accurate. You probably know this is that that when people who've never shot at another person. Oh yeah, because yeah, there it's it's not as easy to shoot an animal if you're hunting or a person if you're at war or even if you're defending yourself. You you'd be surprised how often people miss at point blank yeah. who've never pulled the trigger. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah she, she missed. <laughs> but I also want to talk about um, where is the. Mm. He's my my. What is where is she at? Oh, he at? That's what I meant. That I know right there. Gonna, I know who I know who you're referring to. Grish, our buddy from uh, Sacred Games. Yeah, we've seen him in quite a bit, actually. Quite a few things. And Dong- I love the guy. Dongle. Uh, we saw him in Sakura Gams. Mm-hmm. We've seen him in I think quite a few things. He's always really good. He's always. One, he's he's one of those actors that you just all like. Um, there's there's probably thousands of them that you've seen in a bunch of stuff and they're yeah. always really really good uh i yep. think this is probably my favorite thing of his so far yep. i think didn't we totally also agree. did we see him in uh Chalk to india or no am i am i dreaming i might be dreaming anyways uh but yeah this he, was he part of the coaching staff for srk i, I just want to think about it. i could be wrong um but anyway um 
everything we've seen him in, he's been really, really good. But he was probably my this is probably my favorite thing he's done in it. And I want to Agreed. talk about I want to talk about the scene. Come the, on, I know what you're going to find. Yes, at the beginning in the police station, dude. Oh, it was in, it was incredible. It How was, good was that scene? Like because <laughs> I didn't want it their, to end. Their son, I mean, his daughter is lost. <laughs> Right. And, and uh, right. possibly abducted, in danger. Right. And right. they are talking every about counts. everything else besides that. <laughs> I was cracking up. My wife was like, this is awful. I hate this. <laughs> uh, um, it was brilliant. But it was, but uh, I, I actually figured out, and I'm, I'm hoping this is true. Um, that scene was supposed to be a minute long. The actors improvised it, and it came out to be 14 minutes. Yeah, I, I did a little reading yeah. on how he films, which talk about a guy you'd like to work with. Oh. Man, this is a this is an actor's director. It is. Um, and uh, I mean, man, I would love to work with this guy. Yeah. Uh, that 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 scene was so good that if I was still teaching theater, it would be one of the scenes I use to show people what what really good acting is all about you want to watch a scene that gives you about as believable as acting can possibly be that scene in ugly is it yeah and he was carrying it too uh 100 you, you could tell how seasoned of an actor he is uh because yep. he he never stumbled he was just like i we're, I, we're doing this we're, yep. <laughs> we're and then you started like they started teaching him how to put some put a picture on his phone during like a, a kidnapping <laughs> like brilliant oh brilliant. i was cracking and up all of the ladies including the girl who had a very small role but played his daughter in the car yeah all of the ladies this whole ensemble even the the aunt who they questioned every once in a while everybody who seemed had a, very real it was almost like a, a malalium film uh it, yes that everything is or, so realistic yeah or ex- in fact i wondered if some of the smaller roles like the aunt i thought i wonder if he went satyajit rai on us and just found people that looked right and they'd never acted before it's possible uh you know what i mean because yeah. it was that that um just so believable and good and uh, i really believed um the main two I, the, uh, the main well, two women the main two women of like his girlfriend which i believe her name is uh su su Servine, Servine Chawla, uh-huh. yes, and, and his Rocky, and his wife, and his wife, both did really, really well. And the main two guys, the the guy, the 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 main guy who lost his daughter, and the his his friend. Yeah, is that um, where is she? Um, the wife. Yeah, the the the, the actress who played his wife. Okay, hold on, 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 wait, hold on. Why is Alia Bot credited here? Because she has a cameo. Where? In Ugly. Where? What was she? She played young Shalini. Yeah, I know, but what is that? What, what part was that? I honestly can't you, tell you. Did you catch it? No. <laughs> Hold on. I really didn't. I, I was talking with Andrani about it. Uh huh. And I said. Alia, Alia Bhatt, because I was reading up on some of the background on it, and it said that Alia Bhatt had a cameo in it, and I thought, I completely missed that. What? She I wanted the, you to think I didn't at first. She wasn't the young girl, like his daughter, right? No, 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 no. No, no she I'm... played, she, it's, it's, her credit on IMDb is that she was young uh, Shalini. I don't know where that. Anyways, don't have to wax on that very long. But if somebody no, can not at all. show me like a screenshot of where she is in the film, because I don't remember that in the slightest. I even <clears throat> I even looked up on YouTube. I looked up for Ali Abat scene in Ugly. There's nothing. Maybe it was cut. Anyways, uh, but yeah, they did well. The main guy, the father, uh, he did really really well. Have we? Did we see him in something? The dad of um, Bose yeah. and. Um, Shalini. Mm-hmm. Is that? Am I getting that right? What was the little girl's name? 
Uh, I don't remember. Shalini was the little girl. Uh, if that was her, I mean, I didn't recognize her as a kid at all. I know she's young, but... I guess There's it was. no way that was her. Maybe guess, that's why that little girl was so good. I guess that was eight years ago, so she could have been a young girl. Because she's not old, obviously. Ali Abbott's not old. No, but still, hold on. That's going to drive me nuts. Um... Anyways, we no, can no, there's no way. This was this was what eight, eight years, ago. years ago. Eight years ago. Okay, there's no way she played a ten year old girl when she was freaking nineteen. Yeah. Yo. Know, anyways, you guys are gonna have to let anyway. Us. No, because um, that's gonna bo bother me. It's gonna bother us. Uh, but anyways, um, and I'm. What's the name of the actress who plays Bose's wife, who we see at the very beginning of the film, and is the one who asks for the one point five million more? What was that character's freaking name? Anyways, we'll figure it out. Sorry, guys. Um, but uh, I also want to, like, the, one of my favorite things about, and we talked about this in Gangs of Wasper about Anirad Kashyap, what he does with his scores, they're so unique. Uh, yes. Because a lot of the times he put, like, these big almost, in, 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 uh, in Gangs, I don't know if you remember, he'd put, like, rave music almost behind some scenes that were, like, supposed to be, like, really serious, and they were, like, these very yes. different style things that you wouldn't normally have uh, behind a, a scene. He did yes. that in this as well in a couple times, and I thought it was really good and really unique. I thought the score behind well, this entire film was really good. Yeah, he also does, um, again, a similar kind of thing with, that Tarantino does. Tarantino did it a lot in Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, where a song is going full tilt, like all engines are going and you feel like it's just getting started and then there's an edit and everything stops. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's Shalini is the is the wife. Okay. Played by Tejaswini Kolapur. That's the actress who played Shalini and Alia played her younger. Okay. Gotcha. Got it? I still didn't catch that though in the thing. And uh, hats off to the actresses, to specifically uh, Tita Sweeney, who plays Shalini Bose, and to Serveen Chawla, who plays uh, Rocky. I thought those ladies were so, so good. I do want to talk about the end. Um, yeah. Be because, you know, I loved it. Um, but I thought it was so, so brilliant be uh, the way this film was written. Because if in the beginning people didn't get caught up in you know vendettas and and just being greedy yes they could have found her very easily because it was it, exactly it, it was the guy with the cell phone if they would have just traced to find his vehicle or where, wherever they parked they would have found her in, in hours which goes back to the brilliance of the seemingly throwaway extended scene in the police station where they're going on forever and there's this missing girl. Yep. Because it conveys throughout the underlying message that keeps getting hammered home, not just that everybody's got an ugly side, but that everybody can be so focused on their own self interests that even something as small as how do I use this phone? You're missing the larger picture of something that's way more important. Yeah. Like the entire time you're trying to figure out who it is and who took this child and everybody is either trying to just make – like her brother is trying to make money. The mother of the girl missing is trying to make money. The only good people yeah. I think in the entire thing are her parents. And the, right. <laughs> like but, those, but that, and that's, and, that's what um, is so brilliant in that – it's frustrating, but at the same time, it's brilliant because everybody seems to be way more focused on the money than they are the little girl. Yep. Everybody's like out. Like right when she was like she he, the the one her brother was trying to dupe her for five million. And then she said, I need six point five. I was like, really? You as well? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Which which for me, it's the. Um, that for me is the larger takeaway of the film is the larger metaphor mm -hmm. obviously he's conveying 
he's conveying number one a stark reality that these kinds of things do happen and apparently the statistic i think was like 70 to 80 percent of all kidnappings have no ransom associated whatsoever they're just vendettas and vengeance things Mm -hmm. um and but and and that uh everybody has an ugly side get that but the other metaphorical ugly for me is is that ending thing that you just brought up of there are so many things in life like for example this can be a metaphor for a dad or a mom who didn't spend enough time with their kid Mm -hmm. and then they turn around one day and that kid's gone obviously in this film the kid is dead but that can be a metaphor for the fact that not every every single child's childhood will come to an end and if you're not paying attention if you're not investing the time where it needs to be invested, you're going to turn around one day and you're going to realize that your parenting stunk yeah. and you missed the time with your kid. Then that metaphor of them realizing that was there the whole time and all I had to do was make some different choices and it could have been better. Yeah, uh, That that for me is the most powerful thing uh, and, and, at every level from actors in this thing, actors pursuing their dream. That That little message of Dad, I don't like it when you work when you're supposed to be spending time with me. Mm-hmm. But what's he supposed to do when he's got some sides to pick up for a big role? We can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> Hard choices, man. Yeah, and I love everybody was basically evil in this thing. Um, <laughs> I loved that. I love that. Made you happy. You went to sleep with a smile on your face. I was after very happy movie. because he didn't. Anya Kashyap does not feel the need to make audiences happy. Correct. And I love that because I, yeah. I, I'm happy when the audience is very unhappy. And that makes me very happy. <laughs> well, and the other thing that he does that all great directors do is they have a mastery of the medium and know that they are the captain. They're the dictator. They're in control. You only get to see, hear, feel, experience what they allow you to see, feel, hear, and experience. Hitchcock was the master of that. Yeah. And uh that but do it in such a way like he doesn't do and scorsese does this a little bit um tarantino will do something i call masturbatory pardon my (laughs) french for those of you who don't like that word it is a real word you can look it up um where he will either in his dialogue or what he's doing with his filming it's just gratuitous he's just doing it because he wants to and he really doesn't care I know. Uh, Scorsese is starting to do that with his run times. Yes, he is. Um, uh, Anya Rakushev, I don't, I don't think, um, I feel like his commitment to storytelling is higher than his own need to do what he wants to do. Yeah. In, in the way he edits, in the way that he includes music. Uh, but at the, at the same time, one of the best, I agree with you, one of the best attributes of him as a director is that he doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what he wants yeah we saw that in gangs we saw that in yep soccer gums we saw that in yep. udan uh yep. and that's just his writing uh yep. and so yeah we obviously we love this film a lot love this movie <laughs> let us know uh what uh film we should watch next which on you got kashyap there's a lot yes there's uh ones we've heard black friday um Gulal, Dev Gulal Devdi, and then uh, Rock. I always forget that R. It's the one with Nawaz that he plays the the psycho. Uh, the oh my goodness, yes. I think it's Rog Rom 2.0 or something like that. Rog Rom 2.0. Rog Rom, uh, yeah, Rog Rom 2.0, something like that. Obviously, so let us know uh, down below what we should watch and review next. Thanks.